okay you're welcome to my channel and um in this video we are going to solve another example of the volterra integral equation and uh yeah before before I, we get into this if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me and leave a like if you really like the content of the video as well All right so let's let's get it we have u of x being equal to x minus integral 0 to x x minus t u of t dt so we can easily see that this is of the second kind volterra integral equation which is non-homogeneous right? it is non-homogeneous because we have this free term existing all right so we all know that before we can for the um, volterra integral equation what you're trying to do is to um convert this one into a differential equation we solve the differential equation and whatever solution we get that is the solution to the integral equation we have right yeah so let's get into this okay so first of all we are differentiating each side of this um, equation and that's going to leave us with u prime of x we know why so i don't have to and the derivative of x with respect to x gives you one then we have the derivative with respect to x and write that zero to x x minus t u of t dt so this is what we are doing um we are trying to get rid of this integral sign so we have to differentiate under the integral sign too so we have u prime of x being equal to 1 minus we know how to do this f of x x we know this whole thing as our f of x right so we put in x wherever we're going to see t so we have x minus x u of x then we differentiate the upper limit dx dx that's going to give us one so let me clean it permit me to clean it please so this is going to give us one minus we do the same thing for the lower limit we're going to have x minus zero. Oh my god i have these things over there seriously so yeah minus x um x minus zero u of zero d zero d x and that's going to be zero so permit me to write zero there too as well gotta be quick so multiplied by zero then we add the integral of the partial derivative so the integral from zero to x for the partial derivative of x minus t u of t dt so that's what we have so now let's 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 get a simple we have u prime of x b equal to one minus all right this part is going to be zero because of x minus zero is zero so we have zero zero minus this part also goes to zero this part goes to zero because of the zero so minus zero then plus we're differentiating this whole thing with respect to x so basically if you try to expand you're going to get x u of t minus t u of t so the minus t u of t becomes it's not a function of x okay so that becomes basically zero or you can also decide to bring this one outside of the derivative because it's just a constant they differentiate this one with respect to x so that's going to give us one over here so one this is a constant though this part goes to zero so one minus zero which is one okay so we have the integral from zero to x one multiplying multiplying u of t right so multiplying u of t all dt so that's what we have all right let's get it so u prime of x has become equal to 1 minus 
integral of 0 to x of u of t dt. Hmm. Interesting. So that's our first derivative. So let me let me let me let me clean. Permits me to clean this. Permits me to clean that. Okay. So that's what we are left with. So now let's see. We still see the integral sign over here. And unfortunately for us, it doesn't look like this anywhere doesn't look like anything over here so there's nothing you can do to this and before we can get rid of this um before we can solve this um whole thing you have to get rid of all the integral equations or all the integrations or the integrals and have um a differential equation okay let me solve that differential equation so we furthermore or we further differentiate this whole thing again so let's go. We have u prime prime of x. That's going to be equal to differentiating 1 with respect to x is going to be 0, right? Minus d dt integral from 0 to x. u of t dt. All right, so what are we seeing over here? Hmm. We are differentiating a function. Now, let, let's, let's see the difference between... I want you to pause the video and just observe this, the difference between this and what we've been doing. Okay, so the difference is here you only see a function of t, not a function of x and t anymore. So this is just a function of t. So there's no need for you to apply the Leibniz rule. It's only, it's only going to get things complicated for you. So just do normal integration with respect to t because there's no function of x over here to make the integration complex so you have u prime prime of x being equal to zero let me get rid of zero and say minus d dt of now we are integrating u of t okay so i'm going to call the integral of u of t a very big u of t so big u of t and that is going to range from 0 to x so the difference between this u is this u is that this is a capital u but i don't want to just do union okay so big u of t so i have u prime prime of x minus uh, is equal to negative d dt of big u of x minus big u of zero okay yeah so now let's look at this you have u prime prime of x equals negative d dt big u of t minus d dt big u of zero and check this out we have oh sorry x all these are supposed to be x's what am i doing so these are x's x's this is supposed to be x x i'm very sorry so that's supposed to be x right so x so x's so these are x's, sorry. So we then have u prime prime of x, and that's going to be equal to um, the derivative of this. You have u of x, capital U of x, but we integrated small u to give us a capital U. So differentiating it back gives you the small u. So negative small u of x. And this thing over here is just a constant, right? Because it's u at zero is, is a constant. You have the domain to be the domain value to be x, and the codomain is also going to be m to be zero, and the codomain value is also going to be a constant. So this one becomes a zero, so minus zero, so minus zero. So you have why do I have these things? So we have u prime prime of x being equal to negative u of x 
and that's going to be u prime prime of x plus u of x that should be equal to zero hmm now we have a differential equation we can solve but then we have to get our initial conditions right yeah so now let's go look for initial conditions so since this is a second order linear differential equation we need and it's homogeneous as well we need to get our u prime of a certain constant and like i said always pick the lower limit of the integral you have here to be the constant right so this on u prime of zero we need u prime of zero and we need u of zero so now let's look for u prime of zero how do we get u prime of zero in these when 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 you started with the solvent where did you or where do you find the final value for u prime of x so this is u prime of x um is this the final value um nope let's see u prime of x is actually this one okay so this is u prime of x so u prime of zero is definitely going to be u prime of zero we have one this is a constant so one minus integral from zero to zero which gives you zero so it's going to be one minus zero which is one so u prime of zero is one but why do i have these things over here okay then let's look at u of zero so let's look at where u of x is where is u of x this is u of x right so u of zero becomes zero minus zero to zero it's also zero so i have zero minus zero which is zero so this one is zero over here. okay so now having this differential equation with this this an initial value problem we have two initial values and um we have to solve this so it's homogeneous so we just use a characteristic equation you have r squared plus one that should be equal to zero so your r squared is going to be equal to negative one so r becomes plus or minus i all right so once we have complex conjugates as a solution or as a r we know that the solution u of x is going to be of this form a cos x plus b sine of x right yes so now with our initial conditions we can find the values for a and b so let's let's do for u of zero sorry so u of zero becomes a cos zero plus b sine zero and that is supposed to be zero so that's supposed to be zero so this implies that a cos zero cos zero is actually um, sine 90 which is one so we have a plus sine zero is cos 90 which is zero that should be equal to zero so a is equal to zero over there very well and let me pardon me to use the side we look for u prime of x and that's going to be equal to u prime of x from here from here okay so that's going to be differentiating this one with respect to x that's going to be negative a sine x plus b cos x okay so now look for u prime of zero and that's going to be negative a sine zero plus b cos zero and we expect that to be one we expect that to be one from here right so this implies that we have negative no negative a sine zero is actually going to give us zero this part goes to zero so we have zero plus cos zero is sine 90 which is one so plus b should be equal to one so b is equal to one so in essence, we can get our final solution, our particular solution to be u of x being equal to a cos 0, but a is 0. So you have 0 plus b is 1, so plus 1 sine x. So this is actually giving us sine of x. And this 
This is the solution to the integral equation we have here. All right, so um, this is the end of the video. And if you like the content of the video, just leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel. There is more to come.